So boys, as you can probably see right here, I got a package and I was actually just about to film a video for you guys. Uh, this video took a little strange turn in my mind. I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Um, I just had a nice little visit with my mom in the backyard because we're under restrictions right now for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. And uh, you know, we talked a lot about how she's worried about me and I feel like today's a day where I need to take ownership and not just lie to you guys more about kind of what's going on um in terms of my life and stuff like that and literally this is a great day to take ownership I, I haven't opened up to you guys in a long time i used to do it a lot but as things have gotten worse for me um you know denial is a big thing and stuff like that uh what i really want to talk about today boys literally spur of the moment i'm probably not going to edit this too much because when i make these videos i don't really like to listen to it back well, like I say, I was about to open this quick change of heart. Um, you guys have noticed for sure. I'm going to take full blame on this too. Uh, my YouTube lately, I haven't been uploading as much. Um, obviously, with that, the views go down. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons to it. I feel like I've made videos like this in the past, <laughs> like years ago, like at least three. But unfortunately, my issues have still continued. And that's uh, just me struggling, you know, with addictions and stuff like that, boys. Like I say, this is a great day to take ownership for my mom who's worried and uh, nobody be worried or anything like that. But kind of what's going on in my life, boys, I got to open up to you guys a little bit more, cut the shtick a little bit more often. Um, yeah, I mean, like I've said before, I've gone through addictions. A lot of people say, you know, uh, it's like it's the white stuff that you like. It's, you know, this or whatever it is. None of that, boys. For me personally, it's always been the elk. Um Ever since I was like, ever since I was uh, 2016 when my dad passed, um, I, I developed a pretty strong drinking problem. Um, you, know, you know, some days is better, some days is worse. Uh, you know, through COVID and stuff, it's definitely gotten a lot worse. And I just kind of want to apologize first off, then I'll let you guys know exactly what's going on. Um, for the lack of trying, it looks like the lack of effort on my channel. And I guess it has been lack of effort, but at the same time, I've just been dealing with so much freaking depression, as everyone has been, and I drink my issues away. Um, one thing, I was wondering if I was going to say it on camera, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to go there. But I just, well, um, this all stems from a big thing, man. I've never said this on camera before, but I've really started to do some reflecting the past few days because it's gotten pretty bad for me. Um, the last thing I want is to see my YouTube kind of crumble in views. I'll always get it back. I'm not worried about that. I'm so good at this. It's crumbled before and I've gotten it back. Like, I'm not worried. But this is the first step to kind of letting you guys know what's been going on because it's been a little different. Um, yeah, truth is, man, it's just, it's the alcohol for me. I've got, um, I'm not doing this complaint whatsoever. I'm really just trying to let you guys know um, because you deserve to know. And I feel ashamed of how, like, I've just been treating this channel the past few months um I, it, truth is honestly boys i've never really gotten past uh the uh my dad's death i actually um and it was five years ago i i don't think about it and the reason i don't think about it and i think this is a big reason why i continue to pick up the beers and stuff like that i also party a lot with my boys which doesn't help uh today i'm making a change though i really need to but uh the main thing, and I'm just talking this out on camera, is like, what I never told, like, I tell people around me that know me personally, they know, but you guys, I don't think I ever told, um, when my dad passed, man, I hold so much guilt because, um, I used to be kind of a crappy kid. I don't think about this, boys, I just pick up the bottle. Um, I used to be like, I used to kind of suck. I've always been very, um, respectful, um, and stuff like that. I've, I've never been like an asshole, I don't think, but in terms of just like my behavioral, I used to have a lot of behavioral issues. Um, and like the week before my dad died, I was like, my parents were divorced. I, yeah, I'm just going to bring it up. Um, my parents were divorced. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to do this right now, boys. I'm not trying to make excuses at all, but I'm just trying to talk, talk this through. Um, my parents were divorced. So I'd go a week on at my mom's a week off and then a week at my dad's and uh that week that my dad passed i was supposed to be at his house um he died on a tuesday i got there on a friday so the friday prior so i was supposed to be there friday to friday um but that friday right when i got there i got in a fight with him i was getting physical i was like i don't know 21 i was just i was an idiot and uh you know he kicked me out i used to always get kicked out the house but he kicked me out and uh 
You know, that following Tuesday when I should have been there, he had a brain aneurysm out of nowhere that inevitably killed him. Um, and, like, I know I can't change what's happened. I don't really dwell on that too much. But if I was there, um, there's a strong chance he could have still been alive. I don't dwell on that, but I don't think about it. And there's other obvious issues, I think, why I drink. But I think it all really stems down to the kind of the pain of that. And, like, I used to, I grew up going to therapy, but I haven't done that since 18. Because once you turn, like, 18, then it's not free anymore. Which I've got no excuse for. I make enough money to do it. But I don't know. I haven't been treating myself well, boy, so just kind of thinking about that stuff, talking to my mom about it a lot. Like I say, she's worried. My girlfriend, she, you know, she's she's worried, but she believes in me. Everyone believes in me, but I just hold so much pain that I don't deal with. And now I'm seeing that um, kind of relate to YouTube, although I also have to change up my content, but sometimes you just get in kind of a writer's block, man, especially when you're always a little loopy. Um... Yeah, I don't know really what else. I really wanted to get that off my chest, to be honest. I felt kind of cool just telling you guys what really stems all my stuff. Just not dealing with my issues, not thinking about it. That sounds like a big excuse, but... Yeah, I don't know. I've just been thinking about it a lot lately, boys. As I see kind of things go downhill for me. Just how I need to change and why I haven't changed. And maybe why I am the way I am to this moment. Um... Yeah, boys, I appreciate your support so much. I need to do more of these opening up videos like I used to do a lot, but after a while, I was like, screw it, man. Like, I don't know. Do people care? Do they not? I know they care, but like, do I want to make excuses? But I just realized today, as I was thinking about this, literally ready to film a different video, it's like, this isn't an excuse, and what a great day to take ownership of my actions and really try to work on this. It's not something I want to do. Trust me, if I didn't want, like... <laughs> I would love to change this. Addiction sucks, man. It's the worst. And it seems weird being like, it's like, oh, it's always fun just getting D-R-U-N-K. This is already going to de be demonetized, but whatever. Um, but it's not, man. It sucks because, you know, when you're doing it alone or whatever, just like <laughs> not to think about other things or not to think about issues that are going on. It's like, it's not fun, but you do it to cope and it's not the right way to do it. Um... I feel weird just putting that story in there. I'm really not trying to make excuses or anything, but that's, yeah, I don't know. I've got a lot to deal with, boys. I'm uh, definitely going to continue with these videos, but it feels good getting that off my chest. Just knowing, like, just so you guys know that where I'm at right now, I'm not quitting at all. I'm absolutely just going to start killing it on YouTube videos and really taking this seriously of, like, sobriety or, like, just cutting down a ton. But at this point, it's hard, man. It's like, can I even handle a beer? You know what I mean? Because I have one with the boys. It's like, let's have a bunch more. A lot of times, it's just for fun too, boys. But it's a fact that I'm like doing it alone and stuff. It's not cool. And uh, my priorities are all out of whack right now with that. So that's an update. Didn't think this would go out, but it's going out. I don't know if I explained anything well. And to be honest, boys, I don't think I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to put it on YouTube. I'm sorry, but I don't really want to watch this back. I feel like however I said it is the way it meant to be said. Or was meant to be said, you know? But uh, this isn't to make feel sorry for me or anything, boys. But I think this is a real good time to let you guys know what's going on. Um, especially with how the channel is right now. Which it will go up once again. But uh, you guys deserve to know, man. I've been slacking. I've been trying, but not at all. So, anyway, boys. Appreciate you guys so much. Didn't want a downer of a video, especially on a day like this. But I think if I give my mom any sort of Mother's Day gift today, it's absolute ownership. Even if that means putting it online so people can hold me accountable. You know what I mean? So, that's where I'm at right now. Appreciate you guys for watching. Merc in the game. I will try to go to the doctor, although they kind of scare me a little bit because I think this might be shattered, but we're not sure. Appreciate it, all, man. Uh, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too tough to do, but it kind of sucks a little bit, you know? Because I just feel like any, like I'd feel like a loser saying all this, but whatever, boys. Appreciate it, all, man. Plow. Also, I'm in the car right now, too, because, like, I'd rather not people in the house hear me spill my heart out. <laughs> okay, bye.